just entering Muff, which is on the Inishowen Peninsula, um, still part of the Wild Atlantic Way, and I'm just going to uh, hopefully do a loop and follow the road around up to Malin Head, which is Ireland's most northerly point. Going to take the road, Moville. So this is my first time I've ever been in this little town. And this quite a few towns around in the Shown Peninsula, you've got Cardona, um, Moville as I say, uh, Malin itself, and as we kind of like loop around the top and down the other side we're going to come down, basically finishing in Buncrana. It's called the Inishowen 100 because Apparently it's a hundred miles or so around the up in the kind of around the peninsula up one side and down the other sort of thing. Maybe it's actually more than that, I don't know. We'll soon find out. And so far weather wise it started off this morning uh, over at the house in Donegal it started off Beautiful morning, but very windy. Really, really strong winds. Here we go, Moville, and then Quigley's Point, Green Castle. Just kind of places I'm heading for. Yeah, at one point I was uh, got heavy rain coming on, just coming into Letter Kenny, and I was going to. I was going to hit it in the head and basically give it a miss and do it another day. I stopped off in a bike shop, had a wee look around and then when I went outside the weather looked like it had improved, the shower had moved on so. As far as I know today at the Isle of Man TT they're going to have really strong blustery winds so basically they'll be getting the same as what I'm getting here. Sometimes you've just got to take the bull by the horns, just get out there and just, just cope with it. So long as it stays like this, dry, with a wee bit of sunshine, I'm happy. So long as you're not sodden wet, it's a bonus. So I'll switch back on again when we kind of like uh, come into Moville or anywhere interesting and then um, give you an idea of what this coastline, this little peninsula is like around here something that's a, a route I've always meant to do, just never get around to it. Heading back to Scotland tomorrow, so really for this trip, this is uh, this the kind of last shot of getting, having a ride around it before my summer holidays. What's the sea out there? So it's a pity that Ray had to leave on Wednesday because this was one of the routes that I had intended to take them on. And just we weather wise we really we, we locked out on some days but those were the days we decided to go elsewhere so that gives me an excuse to come back. Come back, Ronaldo, anytime. Really nice road so far. Well, that's me just fueled up there. 
just outside the Muff. Now heading into Maville. And then I'm going to look for a spot of lunch or a place to get a spot of lunch. And got 280 miles out of that last tank, but the range on this trip has been really, really good. It's up where I normally would expect it to be. I could comfortably get 300 miles out of this tank easily. It's really seen as I had um, I was up at the 280 mark, I may as well pull in because I don't really know what the stretches of uh, fuel stops are along this coastline or this peninsula. Better to be on the safe side, as they say, no point in running out of fuel. Lovely area so far, nice and tidy, nice and Wash green. I can't believe I've never been up this way. No the no the times I've travelled across to Ireland. But I certainly will be doing it in the future I'll be coming back this way and just sort of like exploring even further. So want to never ever really done the Antrim coast and if tomorrow if the weather is going to be on my side and I'm heading back to the ferry at Larn then I might just actually do that I might just go down the Antrim coastline because any time I've really planned to do it the weather's really turned for the worst and it's that your way you don't want to you don't want to go on a route that you know you're going to really, really like and that you've heard so much about and you've saw other videos on YouTube. So you want to you want to enjoy it and make the most of it. So look at that lovely blue sea out there. Really, really nice. The smell of that sea air. So nice. This is Maville. The Castle Inn. It's an interesting place. Restaurant accommodation. Green Castle. few work colleagues that actually come to this part of Ireland for their holidays, they've got family here. It's a first for me, I've never been to Maville. Their journey off the ferry is not quite as long as mine. Very, very similar to to a lot of the uh, towns in Donegal area. You 
It's uh, colourful buildings, so we see. I can park up and see if I can find somewhere where I can get spot lunch. Oh.